Team, welcome back to the Studio Kitchen. In today's episode, I'm gonna walk you through a lasagna, not a classic lasagna. We're gonna do a sexy green plant-based lasagna. It's definitely high in protein, but one of the added twists, instead of the layers, we're gonna go through a almost rolled cinnamon scroll-like pattern. Typically in this dish, I'm gonna walk you through how to cook your pasta, how to make a green paste, along with a beautiful bechamel. Finish it off in the oven. It's one to have for your friends and family. Let's begin, team, by adding in some salt. Let's not be shy now. Salt is what we need. Make it taste like the sea. Next, we add in our lasagna sheets. So after about eight minutes or until al dente, just gonna take our pasta sheets out. Now we chop up our onion and our garlic and caramelize them off. Add your olive oil to your pan. All right, with our onion and garlic cooking away, we're gonna then get our broccoli, chop this bad boy off, and start caramelizing that as well. Just get a little color. Broccoli's cooking away. We're gonna add in our lovely herbs here. We've got in some basil and oregano. We're also gonna add in our S and P. Can't go wrong with a bit of those legends. And some epic chili flakes too. Okay, so pretty much soft now with this lovely broccoli situation. For that, we're gonna make our sauce in our blender. So simply get yourself your blender and just chuck all your sauteed ingredients in, along with some tofu. Uh, along with that, we're gonna add in our miso paste. Now this is wonderful for umami. Also adds some nutritional benefits, but it's gonna add an extra level of flavor that we love. Don't forget your lemon. Ooh, a very, very nice lemon. Lid on. Time to get going. Ooh, yeah, quality check. Ooh, bang, yeah. So with our sauce set, we've got our assembly line here, which means we have our cooked lasagna sheets, some beautifully blanched spinach, our sheet tray or roasting tray, along with our pasta laid out. So step number one is to layer our sauce down on our roasting tray. Okay, next, we need to add a little bit of the sauce to our sheet. Get your spread on, so evenly cover your pasta sheet. So you grab your spinach, layer that down, and then, oh, I've got probably, I love my spinach, probably a little heavy there. And then just simply roll over the top, like this. Bang, 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 bang. So wet the tip, and then slice. And then grab your little halves, and start to repeat this pattern all across the roasting tray. Woo! Look at that. Nice little beautiful pattern. Now we have to fill in all this wonderful space with our plant-based bechamel. Bechamel, classic white sauce. Now, to do this, we need to create a roux. R-O-U-X. Just for the sign X. So on a medium heat, you're gonna add in a tablespoon of flour, along with a tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil. Start to whisk. So you're gonna wait for this to thicken up and give it about another three minutes on this low heat. We're gonna see it start to change color. At that point, we're gonna add in our plant-based milk. Just gradually add that in, making sure it emulsifies, along with our cheese. Along with some pepper and some salt. From here, it's time to spread our bechamel all over this wonderful roasting dish. I'm gonna go around the edges, somewhat like a moat, and then I'm also gonna drizzle over the top, finish off with some extra cheese, pop it in the oven, it's gonna be Isn't that a sight, legends? That is awesome. Kitchen smells epic. This looks baller. Now, we've preheated our oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, around 180, 190 degrees Celsius. We're gonna chuck this in between 20 to 30 minutes until you get a golden edge. Let's have some fun. About 25 minutes later, you have yourself a delicious lasagna that is topped with some sort of sexy cheese. You know what I mean? This is awesome. So, now all you have to do is plate up. Lasagna, plant-based and not your classic. That's exactly why this 10-week transformation is all about. 
helping you guys find tasty recipes. Obviously, taste is number one, but demonstrating how you can get through your intake through just a plant-based diet. Now, if you like what you see, if you see this recipe and you want to recreate it, it's obviously on my website, danchurchill.com. Obviously, you can see it down below as well. If you like this channel, give us a thumbs up, and of course, hit subscribe if this is your first time joining us. We have these kind of recipes every single week along with epic series for you guys to join along with. So, I haven't already said it to you guys. Happy holidays, catch you soon, bye.